Welcome back to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today we're diving into one of the most pressing challenges facing the automotive world, Volkswagen's struggles in the EV market. Despite investing billions into electric vehicle development, the German car giant is hitting a major roadblock. Sales have stalled, and the outlook isn't promising. So why can't Volkswagen sell its EVs? Here are eight reasons why. Reason number eight, intense competition from Chinese EV makers. The global EV market is fiercely competitive, with Chinese automakers like BYD and NIO posing significant challenges to Volkswagen. These companies have rapidly advanced in EV technology, offering innovative models with cutting edge features and competitive pricing. BYD's blade battery technology, for instance, sets new standards for safety and efficiency helping capture substantial market share. Strong government support in China, including subsidies and incentives, has enabled rapid scaling and investment in R&D for these automakers. In contrast, Volkswagen faces software issues and supply chain disruptions, hindering its competitiveness. Chinese manufacturers are also expanding into Europe, directly challenging Volkswagen's traditional stronghold. Volkswagen's future in the EV industry hinges on addressing these challenges and leveraging its strengths to stay competitive. Reason number seven, consumer reluctance and charging infrastructure challenges. Volkswagen faces a major challenge in consumer reluctance to embrace EVs despite growing environmental awareness. Concerns include range, reliability, and overall cost of ownership. Range anxiety, the fear of being stranded without a nearby charging station, remains a key issue. Although charging networks are expanding, gaps persist, especially in rural areas, and inconsistent station performance exacerbates this problem. The high upfront cost of EVs, despite lower operating expenses, also deters buyers. Reduced incentives, as seen in Europe, further impact sales. Volkswagen must invest in reliable charging infrastructure and reduce ownership costs through economies of scale and battery advancements. Educating consumers on the long-term benefits of EVs is also crucial for increasing adoption rates. Reason number six, persistent software issues. EVs are notably susceptible to software glitches, and Volkswagen has had its share of these troubles. Issues with the infotainment system and other software problems have persisted, damaging Volkswagen's reputation and impacting sales. Owners report various problems, from scheduling home charging to unreliable Apple CarPlay integration and buggy smartphone connections. One major issue has been the unexpected reset of gauge clusters and infotainment systems, temporarily disabling active safety systems. In response, Volkswagen recalled nearly 80,000 ID4 models produced between 2021 and 2023 to update the infotainment module, as earlier over-the-air updates failed to resolve the problems. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number five, the need for more plug-in hybrids. The electric revolution isn't progressing as swiftly as hoped and Volkswagen is feeling the pressure. Initially a strong advocate for all electric vehicles, Volkswagen is now shifting its strategy to include more plug-in hybrids. This transitional technology is seen as crucial in the current market, where EV sales are plateauing. Hybrids offer a practical solution, bridging the gap to a fully electric future. They alleviate range anxiety and are more affordable, making them an attractive option for many consumers. With hybrid sales surging, some companies seeing over 70% year-over-year growth, Volkswagen is recognizing hybrids as a long-term strategy rather than a stopgap measure. Reason number four, EV sales stalled completely in the second quarter. Volkswagen, one of the first legacy car makers to embrace electrification, now faces challenges as EV sales have stalled. The second quarter saw just a 0.1% year-over-year increase, indicating a slowdown. Despite EVs accounting for 8.1% of total sales, this is offset by a 3.8% decline in combustion sales. With EV sales below expectations, Volkswagen must navigate significant hurdles. The Audi Q8 e-tron production may end next year, and the US launch of the ID7 is delayed. 
The Cupra Taviscon's China launch is also uncertain. Among VW brands, Volkswagen sold 100,000 EVs up 6%. Seat slash Cupra increased 17%. Audi remained flat, while Porsche dropped 48%, and Skoda declined 18%. Reason number three, Volkswagen is losing the EV race. Back in 2019, Volkswagen mapped out a bold EV strategy, investing billions in its own battery technology to reduce production costs. Today, however, it's unclear if this strategy will pay off. Volkswagen is still far behind Tesla in EV sales, especially in North America. The biggest threat comes from Chinese EV manufacturers, who have advanced technology and quicker development cycles. Volkswagen has been the best-selling brand in China since 2000, but now it is losing ground to companies like BYD. UBS has downgraded Volkswagen's stock from neutral to sell, citing the growing threat from China. This threat isn't limited to the Chinese market. It will soon affect Europe, where Volkswagen is currently the biggest EV seller. Reason number two, Audi's sharp drop may close Brussels plant. Audi's electric program has hit a major roadblock. With lower than expected demand for EVs and billions invested in technology and production, Audi warned that it might close its Brussels plant. The plant was already closed for a few weeks in February due to supply chain issues. Demand for the Audi Q8 e-tron and other e-tron models has cooled significantly, leading to potential production halts. Closing the Brussels plant, which has been operating since 1948 and adapted for EV production in 2018, would be a significant financial and psychological blow. Volkswagen is looking for alternative uses for the plant, but closing and retooling could cost at least $2.8 billion. The Brussels plant currently employs around 3,000 people. Reason number one, massive decline in Europe. Volkswagen Group, the world's second largest car maker, has strong ties to Europe, its dominant market for decades. However, in the EV segment, things are not looking great. European EV adoption has declined, with market share dropping from 14.16% in 2023 to 12% this year. Surveys show less than 30% of Europeans plan to buy an EV. Germany stopped subsidizing EVs in December, contributing to the lack of interest. Volkswagen itself saw a massive 24.3% sales drop compared to the previous year. The rest of the group performed slightly better but still down 3.3%. Meanwhile, rivals like BMW have surged, reaching the 1 million mark in EV sales earlier this year. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Piston Pundit to get notified about the next vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.